All right, let's go on page 94 when we're done. And we are going to look at different ways to notate angles in degrees. So we know there's degrees in radians, but there's also different ways to write degrees and um, I, or partial degrees anyway. And I know that you have seen this stuff before. You may feel like you haven't, I, you probably haven't learned it and, or know what to do with it or what it even means, but you probably have seen things like this before. So it says, some angles have decimal degrees, for example, 26.5 degrees. Angles with decimals can be expressed using degree minute second form, or DMS, in which the degrees are subdivided into minutes and seconds as follows. So it sounds weird because minutes and seconds sounds like it goes with time, right? The good news is you convert it just like time. And just like with hours, uh, there's 60 minutes in an hour, there's 60 minutes in a degree. It has absolutely nothing to do with time, though. Okay, it's just completely different. Um, but that's how it gets subdivided and how we talk about it because there's 360 degrees. So, the, you know, that 60 divides into there. And we'll talk about why it gets used and all that good kind of stuff as we go through this. So here's how we convert. One degree, you can think of it like an hour. So one degree is 60 minutes, and one minute is 60 seconds, right? Just like with time. And so I could skip from one degree to seconds, right? So like how many seconds are in a, an hour even? If there are 60 minutes in a degree and 60 seconds in a minute, then one degree would be how many seconds? Very good, 3,600. So how to notate what it is, symbols for degrees, minutes, seconds. Well, degrees is still the degree symbol, just like it always has been. Minutes is an apostrophe. Seconds is a quote. What else uses the apostrophe and quotes for units? Feet and inches, right? So again, this has nothing to do with feet and inches or time. And it will, you won't get it confused with feet and inches because it'll be preceded by a degree. So it'll be obviously not feet and inches. Okay, so just there's only just so many ways you can notate things. So here's how we convert. And all this really is is a conversion from one thing to the other. And the good news is it's exactly how you would convert time. The bad news is a lot of you probably couldn't convert that correctly. So um, I don't know if that really helps. Just saying if you don't, you know, do weird things with it. So like this is 31.875, if that was in time, that's not 31, uh, 31 hours and 87 minutes, right? Okay, it's not, but that's, again, what some people are trying to do. So um, <laughs> I'm just saying. So we take this 31.875 degrees, and we're going to divide it up into degrees, minutes, seconds. So this is, a, this is a full, those are full degrees, so I leave those alone. I just take the decimal part of this, this 0 0.875. And right now, that's 0.875 degrees. So it's a partial degree. Make sense? Since it's a partial degree, I want to know how many seconds that is. So I'm going to multiply that by 60. And then when I do that, so go ahead and multiply that. And you get 52.5. You agree with that? So. 0.875 degrees is 52.5 minutes. So I've just converted from degrees to minutes, right? But I don't want a decimal of a minute either. So I take this decimal part of the minute, this 0.5, and it goes here. So 0.5, I don't want to take the minutes to seconds, so I multiply that by 60, because that's like half of a minute, right? And half of a minute is how many seconds? 30. So 0.5 times 60 is 30, and that makes this 30 seconds. Okay. What do you, well, not exactly. Dimensional analysis was more when you set it up all in um, like fractions, but this just conversions is all it is. That's literally it. So now your answer, this 34, this 31.875 degrees is 31 degrees, 52 minutes, and 30 seconds. That's it. Okay, do you see how I put that together? It's 31 degrees, because that's where the degrees comes from. This 52 minutes came from here, because remember we took this, this piece ended up over there. 52 minutes and 30 seconds. So that's, that's what I have. Okay. Have you seen stuff written like that before? Or where can, where can you? Seen it, oh, you've seen it on there? Anybody else can think of where they've seen it? Coordinates? Coordinates, like GPS coordinates, right? 
And so depending on how, um, you know, your GPS coordinates can show up as decimals or they can show up in degrees, minutes, seconds, and either one is acceptable. Doesn't matter either way, you just have to be able to convert between the two if you need to. Um, you, you know, may not need to convert, but I want you to know that it exists, Re you know, regardless of whether or not it's going to apply in the future, just being an average citizen that's going to see it with GPS, that's what it is. But it's a geographical way to look at it, and it's because of the lines of longitude and latitude. Okay, that's, that's why it's written like that. I mean, that's what GPS gives you anyway. And um, just, do you know, do you all know what a nautical mile is? Okay, so a nautical mile is different than the mile that we talk about, you know, when we're driving or whatever. And it has a, it's a little bit more than an actual mile. And for the degrees, minutes, seconds thing, it's not an exact conversion because the Earth isn't exactly a sphere. It's a little elongated, so we can't be exact with it. But at one minute or is about um, one nautical mile. So it's just kind of a cool little conversion there, depending on where you are on the earth, of course, because things change, but anyway. So you're gonna use this a lot more if you're a sailor or if you're a pilot or whatever, or if, you, if you're the average person and you see GPS, I mean, that's just what it is. Uh, or if you're a pirate, pirates use it, yes. That, so if you wanna be a pirate when you grow up, you're gonna have to know how to convert these. That's a good one. Like, when will I ever use this? If you're, when you become a pirate, you'll have to, yes. That's a good one, I'll have to remember that. All right, so let's look at number one. I've got this 15.48 degrees. So here's what I know. I know that I'm gonna have 15 degrees and then something else that goes along with it. I'm gonna take this 0.48 and I'm gonna multiply it by what? 60. So when you multiply that by 60, you get 28.8, which means that I have 15 degrees in 28 minutes so far. Make sense? you do not round. No. So this is like 20, since it's 28.8 minutes, this is 28 minutes, and then I'm gonna take this and change it to seconds, okay? So then I'm gonna have that 0.8 times 60, and that's gonna give me 48, which means in the end I have 15 degrees, 28 minutes, and 48 seconds. Yeah. It's easy, it doesn't get hard. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We'll get to one of those. All right, um, you do number two. Or actually, we'll do number two together, and then I'll have you do number six, so it just goes faster. So this 150.2. So I got 150 degrees. I'm going to take 0.2, multiply it by 60. And you get 12, which means it's 150 degrees, 12 minutes, and you don't have any seconds, and that's totally fine. Okay, just doesn't have part of a minute in there. Okay. Easy enough? All right, so you get number six going. Six, yeah, just jump to six. We don't need to do all these. I'm sure. And then you'll have more time to work on your own. Yeah, exactly. So on this one you get, when you multiply the second one, you get 15.6. Okay, so it is, it's ex, it's not except, if you're gonna put it in degrees, minutes, seconds, you shouldn't have decimals on your degrees or your minutes. You can have decimals on your seconds. However, what we're gonna do, because we don't need to be that precise, because we're not going and you know digging for buried treasure or anything, um, we're gonna go ahead and use our rounding rules, which means that, I don't wanna say you always round, because you may not always round up. It's whatever you would normally do for this to make it a whole number, which would make this 16 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense? We're good? Now, I want you to think about what, what happened here. We took this, part of a degree, we multiplied it by 60, and then we took some of that answer and multiplied it by 60 again. So some of that got multiplied by 60 twice, right? So if it got multiplied by 60 twice, it really got multiplied by what? 
3,600, 60 times 60, okay. Because when we go the other way, it's not gonna be just a straight 60, 60 thing. So I want you to think about that when we look at that. But let's look at the back. We are gonna, we don't need to do the other examples on the top either. We're gonna go to here. So now we're converting from degrees, minutes, seconds back to decimals. Because this is really the way, this is really the more important part for us. Because mathematically, if we're gonna use these numbers in our problems, we can't use them in this form. We need the decimal, because that's what's gonna work for what we're doing, okay? So once again, we have this 73 degrees. Well, the degrees, that's good. But I gotta take this nine minutes, and I'm putting the little units on there because I think it makes more sense when you think about it. I got nine minutes. I need to convert that to degrees. Just like if I had 15 minutes, that's a fourth of an hour, right? Because I take 15 and divide it by 60, that's where I get a fourth from, right? So I would take this nine minutes and I'm gonna divide it by 60 to get how much of the hour I have or the, the degree. So when you divide that, what do you get? 0.15. So that is converting the minutes to the degrees. Bam. Okay. So then I take this 50 seconds and I'm going to convert it. I'm not going to divide by 60. I have to divide it by 3,600. Good. Because I basically have to divide it by 60 twice to get it all the way back to a degree, right? So when you do that, you get 0 0.014, and that's degrees. So now you've converted both all those parts back to degrees. Then you add them. So look, this here is also being added. The difference is the units are different. This is like saying 73, um, or this is like saying x plus y plus z. You know, I, that means it's x plus y plus z. I can't put them together because the units are different, right? Where here, we put it all back together so the units are the same. I have 73 degrees plus 0.15 degrees plus 0 0.014 degrees. So since the units are all the same, I can actually combine them all together to get one number, which is 73.164 degrees. Okay, everybody okay with that? Easy enough? Yes. Okay. Easy peasy. Yeah. All right, so let's look at number 10. I've got this 315 degrees, 8 minutes, which means I know it's going to be 315 point something. So I need to take that 8 and do what with it? Divide it by 60. And when you do, what do you get? Okay, point one three repeating, and I don't know if we've got a repeating one in here yet, but you know how you had to hit the SD button to get that from the fraction? If you hit the SD button again, it gives you the expanded decimal. Not that you need that, that you couldn't figure it out, because, but we're not going to put one, point one three repeating, we're going to put point one three three, right? And so that's the only extra piece I have, so it's 315.133 degrees, and I'm done. That easy. Now I'm going to change number 12 just a little bit because this comes up on the assignment, but it's not on the notes anywhere. What if it's negative? Okay. So that's a negative sign that kind of looks like a blob because my pen's weird. So negative. So we're going to make number 12, number 12 turn it to negative. The easiest way to do it is to ignore the fact that it's a negative, do everything exactly the same, and then stick the sign back on at the end. Because there's this question about, am I really adding or am I really subtracting? Technically, you would be subtracting. Because like if I have a negative 121 degrees, it would come over here, right? And then I've got to go a little bit more negative for the minutes and a little bit more negative for the seconds. So technically, it's a negative number and I'm subtracting more and subtracting more. But I don't want you to have to overthink the negative and subtracting and stuff like that. Just, just ignore the negative, do your thing, and then make sure you don't forget to put it back, okay? So... Here I'm going to take this 4 and I'm going to divide it by 60. And you're going to take 45 and divide it by what? 3,600. Right? You got to divide those like that.
as long as it or did they go away? Good. <sighs> I hope somebody's at home. All right, so I've got these two things and that 121, this was negative, so I just have to make sure I put my negative on my answer, negative 121 point, and then when you add those together, I think so. 0.08. That's what I got. Is that what y'all got? A little concerned with what? Okay. We all good now? All right, so you do number 13 while I pass out the assignment so I know that you know how to do this right. We'll double check that we all agree and then we will be done with that. Three decimal places on all of them. Oh, also, I've, I've made a big deal about you never, ever, 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 ever type back in a rounded number, like ever. And that's why we say never say never, because this is an instance where we rounded and then we typed it back in. But it gets you what you need anyway. So this is like the only time that's okay. This is what you should get on 13. If you don't get that, let me know so we can make sure that we know what's going on. Okay, so that's a problem, then you didn't round right somewhere. What a bum, yeah. Did you round on, let's see. Let me make sure, well, let me make sure my answer is right. 28 divided by 60 gives me 0.467, right? And then 20 divided by 3600 gives me 0.006. So when I add 0 0.006 to 0 0.467, yeah, you get 0.473. Does that make sense? So that's one reason why you might want to see the whole um, repeating decimal, even though you know what it is, because it makes a little bit more sense when you round. Okay, we all good? Anything else? Alrighty, so go ahead and glue or tape this in.